we all can see and notice all the damages and harms done to the environment. These damages and harms were caused by animals and mostly by people like you and me. Scientific knowledge is entering Tuvalu and worries over climate change are spreading as developed countries and developing ones are continually releasing carbon dioxide. Tuvalu is trying to cope with the threat from rising sea level. But is climate change simply an environmental problem? Climate change is not an environmental issue. It is a social, economic and security issue. It's nothing to do with the environment. It has everything to do with the policies of people, with the damages that have been caused by human beings. Rising sea levels is not the concern of only people in Tuvalu. It threatens the survival of all people in the world. The South Pacific island of Tuvalu, which is now on the same level as the sea, is the first to feel the threat and impact of climate change. Uh, I, I know then that this happens to all those, to the whole, all the world, places near the sea, you know. Uh, you know, they get there. But they got higher places to go to, you know, these other places. But us, no, we, we just stay and we will be under. The highest part we can climb is a corner tree. If something happens, I think, you know, they, we just come and pick us up, you know, we will be floating somewhere, you know. Residents are already thinking about immigrating abroad for economic and educational considerations. They worry about the future of the next generations. The government is working hard to get the people's voices heard in the world community. They hope other countries can help improve the living environment in Tuvalu. I raise the issue very loudly as much as we can in the international meetings that we attend. And we try to raise the awareness of the international community uh, to push their, their political leaders, the leaders who are making the decisions to cut down on the emissions, the gas emissions, uh, down to the target that, that is being, has been set uh, by the Kyoto uh, Protocol. And there is also the next generation to consider in Tuvalu. If climate change, as scientists predict, is caused by overdevelopment, even if human beings become conscious of the situation and completely change their living habits, does Tuvalu have another 50 years to wait? What is Tuvalu fighting for and what message does he deliver? They, they have to come over. I urge them to come over to Tuvalu and, and stay here when, when there is that, that, that the sea is coming over through the lands and through the homes of the people for them to to realize and, and to really believe that we are badly affected by the climate change. Climate change is a human caused problems caused by, by, by industrialized countries. These countries need to uh, fulfill their obligations. It's not a, a development uh, issue, it is an obligation and it is for these countries to fulfill their obligations because Tuvalu uh, is suffering already. We are we are living with climate change, you know? and I understand we are living with the impossible. And only if there is a chance, you know, for Tuvaluans to continue living in Tuvalu, please give us, give Tuvaluans a chance to live in Tuvalu if there is a chance. I would like the world to hear that what I am saying is not, uh, is not only a made up story of what I have lived here. Uh, most of my life and uh, I have seen the changes uh, in, in this country and I, and I would like that, that I would like my children and my grandchildren and all those who follow to grow up in a place like, like this in our country. These kids were born in Tuvalu, raised in Tuvalu. This land is their future. We need to make every effort to help the people keep the sustainability of the land. Badagao Tarimala and Api, TITV, Infunafuti, Tuvalu.